Okay, so today's lab is to investigate how the solubility of potassium nitrate crystals varies with temperature. So this will be the solid that we are working with, potassium nitrate. We have our setup, we have our burette, we have the beaker, we have our water bath as well to set up later on. And now the first step, we have to record the mass. So 15 grams of potassium nitrate is required. So you're going to take your Petri dish and you're going to press there. And now you're going to weigh the 15 grams of your solid. Now that we have our 15 grams of potassium nitrate, we are going to transfer this into a boiling tube. Here we have our water bath that is set up. We have our tripod stand, Bunsen burner, beaker of water. Okay, so I'm going to use the burette and I'm going to measure 10 cm cube of distilled water to be transferred into our boiling tube which contains the potassium nitrate. Now I'm going to transfer that distilled water into our potassium nitrate. Now that we have our potassium nitrate and distilled water, I'm going to place this into our water bath and I'm going to mix until it completely dissolves. So basically after the crystals were dissolved, this is how it's going to look. It's going to look clear. Okay, so the next step is to place your thermometer inside and get a reading. Okay, so now that we remove the boiling tube out of the water bath, we are going to leave the contents to cool. And we are going to gently stir the thermometer until the first crystal appear and we are going to record that temperature now that the first crystal appeared which you could barely see you record that temperature and now you are going to add 2 cm cube of distilled water i would have used the burette to measure the 2 cm cube of distilled water and now i'm going to transfer it to our boiling tube Now I'm going to observe when the crystal appears again and I'm also going to record that temperature. This step is going to be repeated adding a further 2 cm cube of water and I'm going to do it at least 7 times until I get the um, desired amount of readings.